Hello everyone, this is Chris from Tech Chefs, and today we're going to be taking a look at the TuneCast Auto Universal Radio Transmitter by Belkin. Now what this device allows you to do is take any kind of device that has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, plug it in, and be able to play your audio from that device through your car speakers, regardless of any compatibility from your car. Now the way this works is you plug in whatever device you may have, and what's great about this and why it's called the Universal is because with this jack you're of course able to use anything. You're able to plug in anything from a iPhone or iPod Touch to a Zune to even a laptop if you really wanted to. Just anything that could have this kind of microphone headphone jack you can use with this device. Now the way this works is it takes whatever is being transmitted through the headphone jack and broadcasts it across the radio station that is on the screen. Right now it is at 89.7. And one of the features with this particular device that is advertised heavily is the clear scan function, if you can see that on the box there. And what clear scan is is basically Belkin's way of finding an unused radio station to get you the clearest audio possible with this device. And to use that clear scan functionality, you simply press this button and it will find the clearest radio station possible. And if for whatever reason you want to customize that or if it's not to your liking, there is an up and down button here so you can continue to select through the different radio channels until you have one that is clear or one that you prefer. Another great feature about this device is it actually has two memory spots. What that means is you can find a channel that is clear and you can program it and you'll and the uh, device will remember it the next time you use it. So let's just say you finally find a clear station that you like. You can save it to one memory. But if you go traveling and you're in a different state where that radio station is being used, you could use a secondary channel that you've programmed in here previously. The power provided for this device is through this, which is your standard car charger or cigarette light or whatever you'd like to call it. We have an indicator light here that lets you know that the device is powered up. And you have a USB port on the back of this so you're able to plug in a charger cable for your MP3 device. So you're able to charge it while you're playing music regardless what device you're using. Now one thing that's interesting about this device that I just found out when I took it out of my car to make this video is that there is actually a car fuse under here. Now obviously this is for the protection of the device but I found it very interesting that it uses a type 2 car fuse to protect the device and any of the devices that you have plugged in. So that's actually very helpful so you don't end up frying anything. Now the major thing with this device, and you'll see reviews online, is that people have been getting some sound quality issues. Uh, this is not the case with me, and that problem is solely to not being able to find a clear enough station. The clear scan feature uh, really doesn't do anything. Personally, I think it just finds a randomly selected radio station that's obviously not being used. But as far as finding the clear station possible, uh, that's really not the case. What you basically need to do is before you start driving, before you leave, you need to find a clear station and stick with it and save it to one of the memory spots. And just in case you drive into an area where that station is becoming used again, save a second one if necessary. So that is the real trick to this device. People are just seeming to think that as they drive down the road, they're able to hit the clear scan button and they'll find a crystal clear audio quality and you'll hear your music perfectly. That's just not how this device is built to work. So if you really know how to use this, it can be very useful and a very good quality tool. But on the other hand, if you're just looking for something that you could, you could plug in, press a button once, and be done with it, this is not the case. One thing to also keep in mind is that this transmits on a very weak frequency. This is so that the people in the cars next to you can't hear whatever you're transmitting. But a side effect of that is whatever you're playing comes through your car speakers relatively quietly. Now, this is a very simple fix as you just turn up your volume on your device as far as you can and then continue to turn up the volume on your car. Please note that you really do have to turn up the volume on your car significantly. And I've caught myself switching over from this device to say a CD or the radio and just losing my hearing for a second. But it, this device does work perfectly fine. You'll just have to turn up your volume quite heavily and you'll need to find a clear station. So if you ever see those reviews online that are bashing this because of its audio quality, trust me, it is not the device. It's simply the user being unable to find a clear station. I've rarely had any issues with background static once I found a good station and saved them to the memory slots. So I've never had any issues with static ever since probably the first 10 minutes I used this because I saved the two clear stations I could find on here. So if one stops working, I'd switch it to the other and I've never really had issues with sound quality since. So do keep that in mind with this device. And just so I can give you the basic idea with the tutorial of this device, 
We're going to go out to the car and I'll show you how to use this thing. So here we are in the car. You can see here the device is powered on by that green indicator light over there. And you can see that it is set to 104.7, which I have set on my radio. And now on my iPod, I'm going to play a song. This is going to be a royalty-free song, of course, so I do not get copyright strikes. But I'll have a link to the song in the description for your guys' enjoyment in case you like it. All right, so let's start the song here. So you can see that it works perfectly fine. There's absolutely little to no static. The sound quality is fantastic. So you really get the understanding of how great this device really is. So I highly recommend this to anybody who has a vehicle that does not already have compatibility for MP3 players. This is a great buy. It's about $30 on Amazon and at Best Buy. So you really can't go wrong with this thing. So this has been the review of the TuneCast Audio Universal Broadcaster by Belkin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and favorite, and I will see you guys next video.